Have you had your coffee yet? Pause, pause, pause. So I've been called out. A few of you guys don't think I'm drinking actual coffee in my videos. Well, by the time I start filming, most of it is already gone. Sac passé, sac à fait. As you guys can see, I'm still rocking the perique. <laughs> I'm still rocking the fro. I, ooh. I guess stuff hides in there. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and let's keep the family growing. So what are we doing in this video? As you probably saw by the thumbnail, we are making this open shelf display. My kitchen is not that big and I'm always complaining about counter space and I have a chunky toaster that's just taking up so much room. So I decided to take that chunky toaster and I designed a shelf and I made it look like a little pretty. And I made it a little, little pretty. Comment down below, who can guess what I'm going to be for Halloween? Let us just know down below. <laughs> okay, so anyways, let's get right into the video. You're going to need one by twos. I cut four pieces, 79 inches long, and I also cut 12 pieces at 12 inches using the same one by twos. The first thing I started to do, I used my nail gun to nail the wooden place just so that they can stay together and then i went ahead and i used my drill bit to pre-drill a hole before using my screws What I did, I measured out the spacing that I need each shelf to be based on what I'm going to put on there. You guys can use whatever sizing and, and uh, distance you need based on your personal measurements and where you're putting your shelves. I'm using my nail gun to, to hold everything together before I go ahead and screw it in place. Measuring and making sure everything is the right distance and making sure everything is level. Then I'll go ahead and do the same for the other side. Please subscribe! So then now I'm making sure both sides line up with each other before I nail gun the second side. So basically it looks like a ladder when we're done with the two parts. Just make sure each side matches so that you don't end up with wonky shelves. I'm checking my level before I go ahead and put in my screws. And everything is leveled and everything matches. And I'm doing the same for the other side. Ten o'clock, feeling for the guap. I be beaming, losing balance. So bitch falling on my yacht. They're like, what? So I'm going to be using this, which is a 12-inch board from Home Depot. Mm. As always, clearance. They are never true to size. So 12 inches is more of like 11 and a quarter. We're gonna have four shelves, and I'm going to actually be staining these, but I'm going to put them in place just to make sure I like what it looks like first. So I cut four pieces at 16 inches. My shelves are 22 inches long, but these are 16, because I do want a little bit of an overhang on each side. So we're gonna put these in. So again, you wanna go ahead and pre-drill in before you add your screws so that your wood doesn't split. Don't 
Don't forget to sand. I'm using an American walnut stain that I had laying around. I think I did about two or three coats and honestly, I wish it was still darker. I'm just using a regular old rag to stain it. And I'm using this glossy black spray paint for the frame. And I'll be using this water-based polyurethane to protect the shelf. And then I just went ahead and I nail gunned the shelves in place. As always, may your hair game be as strong as your coffee game. I love you, Latte. Bye, boos. We are so close to 1K, so let's come on, let's sing the song together. Ready? Let's get to 1K. Let's get to 1K. Let's get to. Yeah. And. Ten o'clock, feeding for the guap. I be beaming, losing balance, so bitch falling on my yacht.